Welcome to the DigiVac YouTube channel, Practical Vacuum. Today we're going to talk about how to make a very simple vacuum pump testing solution. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to test a vacuum pump to see if it's performing well or if it's not performing well. This solution consists of a DigiVac Model 100V battery operated vacuum gauge. Um, this device goes from 1 millitour all the way up to 760 tour, so it'll let you know if the vacuum pump is doing well or not well at all. Um, the DigiVac actually includes a Varian 531 sensor. We adapt a uh, uh, rubber stopper, very simple McMaster item to get. Um, and on the vacuum pump to be tested, we put a KF flange, and we use half of it so we have a nice flat KF flange on which to put the rubber stopper. Lastly, what we do is we take um, some silicon uh, grease, some vacuum grease, and put that right on, the vac right on the stopper itself, and that creates a nice seal. So what we'll do to test this solution is we'll put this rubber stopper on, and as soon as the vacuum is generated, then this rubber stopper will stay connected to the vacuum pump. What we see quite quickly is the vacuum gauge goes down to hundreds of millitour. And within seconds, and you'll be able to see how long by looking at the bottom of your screen there, you'll see it's down to 50 millitour. And it'll go down to 30 and eventually 24 millitour. So this Ritchie vacuum pump that's used in a lot of HVAC applications is performing pretty well. So we know that from this simple test that we're good. This is a good vacuum pump. And what this also tells us is that if we remove all of our fittings and test the vacuum pump itself, uh, we, we know that the vacuum pump is good and that if, we, if we're experiencing leaks, we want to go check all of our other uh, fittings and tubes and such. So this is uh, a very simple way to test a vacuum pump with the uh, DigiVac Model 100V.